Now, what's the word? The word is Bird, Baron John Bird, founder of The Big Issue, who joins me now. John Bird, welcome to News Thing. Thank you very much. Indeed. Great to have you here. Um, now, The Big Issue's been going for over 25 years now. Almost 26. Almost 26 years. Is homelessness more or less of a problem now than when you started? <laughs> It's a kind of Everest, so it was up there, mm. then it went down like that under Major and Blair, and then it went like that, and now it's creeping up. It's not up where it was, right? but it's probably about... So you the started road. in the Thatcher era? We, no, we started in just, just Major. In the major, major was in the, in the foothills of Major. Right. And, we, uh, and then they put a lot of effort into getting people off the streets. And largely because there was this complaint, it was called the, the uh, Japanese tourist complaint, because you've got all these Japanese tourists coming over, taking photographs of these beautiful buildings, mm. like the Houses of Parliament, and a homeless person sleeping in front of it. You know, Covent Garden and all that stuff. Yeah. Now it's on the rise. I mean, is that largely because of the housing crisis? There is a housing crisis, uh, but I, want, I don't want to mislead anything, anybody into believing that when you meet a homeless person, the only problem they've got is that they haven't got anywhere to live. Mm. It's often because they've been kicked out of home or they've, been, they've come out of local authority care or they come out of the army or they come out of prison. And sometimes they come with a cocktail of problems, which means that they kind of graduate or drip down into the streets. You could get them housed, and we've got people housed, and then two years later they're back on the streets. And it is a mental health issue for me. I would like to see more effort put into sorting out their mental health problems. There's a mental health funding crisis as well, isn't there? The NHS enormous, don't have enough enormous. resource for that. There is... Now, you are probably worse off now if you were mentally ill than you would have been 100 years ago. Uh, you took a seat in the House of Lords in 2015. Is it a vital second chamber of our parliamentary democracy or, as it's been described, the best daycare centre for the elderly in London? I don't know about the daycare centre because I am an incredibly active 71-year-old. All I know is that if you didn't have the House of Lords sticking a sharp pin into the government and pointing out their legislations and its limitations from largely a bunch of experts, the ones who were active, you, well, you wouldn't have an opposition. You're a cross-bench peer. That sounds... My producer told me th that you were a Tory, and I said, that's bollocks. Which of us is right? Uh, well, I have described myself as a working-class Tory with Marxist, Leninist, Engelist, Trotskyist leanings. Mm. I come from working-class Tories, racist, mm. working-class Tories. I grew out of that and became a Marxist. Now I'm an international geezer who loves humanity and loves nothing better than to be useful. So you're not really aligning... You're, you're a true crossbencher. You don't really feel aligned with either of the main parties. I have been severely hurt in my work by the Tories and helped. And I've been severely hurt in my work by Labour and helped. I think it sounds like you might be a Lib Dem. Uh, or a Green. I have been severely <laughs> hurt <laughs> by Lib Dems and helped. OK, now, we're going to see how well you know your colleagues in the House of Lords. Jesus. You've been there two years. It's a right mixed bunch. And we're going to see how much you know about them as we play... Who's that Lord? Who's that? Lord. Now, John Bird, there are many shadowy and eccentric figures who decorate the benches of the House of Lords. We're going to show you a series of pictures. All you have to do is identify the correct Lord from the facts I give you. Let's have the first picture. OK, who's this Lord? Is it A, Lord Timothy Razzle, whose wife is the cousin of Helena Bonham Carter? B, Lord James Howson, heir to the Howson Hoover fortune? Or C, Lord Blakenson Ruff, whose great-grandfather, Percy Blakenson Ruff, famously made a horse swim the Thames? All three of them? No, no, it's, it's got to be one of them, is it? I'll take the last one. The last one. Oh, you swim the Thames. Swim the, no, it wasn't. It's, in fact, A, Lord Timothy Razzle, whose wife is the cousin of Helena... Bonham Carter. Wow. So you've got to get to know your colleagues. I know. Right? Well, um, you've made me... I'm, I know another yeah, one. Well, this will help you. Let's have another one now. Who's this Lord? Is it A? Lord oh, I know him. OK, all right, well, wait. <laughs> Lord David Ramsbottom, a retired military officer known as Rambo. Lord Francis Rowbottom, an ex-criminal barrister nicknamed Thomas the Tank. Or Lord Edward 
Ron's Cotton, an ex City CEO nicknamed the Cock. Lord's Rambottom. That's Ramsbottom. right. It's Lord David Ramsbottom, a retired military officer. Very, uh, very obsessed with prisons because he was the prison minister. No, he was appointed mm. to go into prisons and he went in and said they were shambolic. Yeah. People go in bad and they come out worse. Yeah. And he's campaigned to change that. And nothing's so, changing with that, is it? Uh, he's working on it, okay. as well as me. Last one. Who's this Lord? Lord Patrick Lewis, the judge who presided over Paul McCartney's divorce case when Heather Mills tipped a jug of water over her ex-husband's lawyer. Is it B, Lord Robert Lord, who was once covered in baked beans for children in need? Or is it C, Lord Peter Snape, who had a glass of orange juice poured over him by Edwina Curry in 1992? Well, he's, he, I saw some baked beans on his shoulder. So maybe you think he might not have wiped them off after yeah. all of these years. You yeah. are wrong. It is in fact Lord Peter Snape who had a glass of orange juice poured over him by Edwina Curry in 1992. But who hasn't that happened to at some stage? I've got to do some real serious I work in the House of Lords. I think you're getting to know the other fellas that well. You're not no, socialising, no, you're not interested. networking. John, last question, uh, sure. most important question in many ways. You've run the big issue for 25 years. Who would you say during that time is probably the best columnist you've employed? There was a guy called something Delano. Delano. Delaney. Del uh, Delaney. Yeah, that's well, me. I've never met him. Yeah, some people say Delaney, some say Delaney. That's me. Oh, that's you. You're correct. It's the right answer. I am the best writer to have ever written for the big issue. Thank God for that. Um, thanks, Lord John Bird. God bless you.